Yeah, hi guys, Ryan here again. Um, I, I kind of mentioned a, a tire problem in my last video and I forgot to elaborate on that as I got, as I kind of went, that I got rambled on there about other stuff for a while. But um, I mentioned I had a flat tire when I picked up this last trailer, which, I, which actually is not this trailer, but the, the trailer that I dropped down in Love One. Um, it had a screw on the side of it. But uh, the tire was completely flat and off the bead. Uh, I went into this place. It took me a long time to get in there. It was a total disaster. There was trucks everywhere in this place. Uh, it was really, really tight. And uh, like I said, luckily it was a drop and hook because if it would have been a live load, I probably would have been there for five or six hours, I would assume, from the way that it looked, the way they did operations there. But um, so I finally got in there. They told me to, to drop my trailer in the yard next door. I actually called prior and asked them if that's where they wanted it at. I'm like, oh no, I'll just come in and then, uh, check in. And um, So it took me like a half an hour to get in and out of this place and back out, drop my empty, then come back in. Then I had to like ask guys to move and everything else to get my, my loaded trailer. And uh, I got it, went ahead and hooked it up. And the way I'll hook up to my trailer, I'll hook the supply line up, the red line, emergency line, whatever you want to call it. And I charge that, then I'll walk around as I'm doing my, my pre-trip on the trailer to listen for any air or anything blowing out. And uh, sure enough, I got over to the curb side of the truck and uh, had a tire that was off the bead, um, you know, just hanging there. And uh, I mean, the tire looked, it was a, it was a virgin tire, it wasn't a retread or nothing. And I'm going to tell you, all of, most of, I want to say 98% of the trailers here at Landstar, they've got the, uh, the tire, auto tire inflation system. And um, I don't know if you all know, but there's a little secret about those. Um, that they will fill themselves. So I'm gonna show you what the, that system looks like, tell you a little bit about it. Um, this wasn't the trailer that I picked up. This is a Honda, I had a Vanguard down there, um, which I don't really like. The Vanguards, they don't really agree with my truck for some reason as far as the lights go. They always throw light bulbs even though everything's working. But uh, the Honda is a little bit better for me as far as the truck goes. But, uh, all right, so. This is the uh, auto tire inflation system here that all this inside of you can see that um, these tires have filled themselves up to whatever the pressure set on the trailer or whatever the factory sets in that. And it should be close to what uh, whatever the tire says here on the load range, which is down, down here, I guess. So we're looking at. 110 psi down there. So if you can look at that area, on any of your tires, they say low range, you don't have that information. You want to check that cold when you check your tires. You don't want to check it when it's hot because that air expands when it's hot. You'll have a higher pressure. So you want to check them when they're cold in the morning or night, whenever you start. Like I start in the evenings at 10 o'clock at night. So if you're going to check pressure, you want to check it before you start or before you start in the morning. But uh, so I had a tire, this tire here on that other trailer that I had was broke off the bead so the tire was just like was just like hanging out there and uh i'll tell you with that system what you want to do don't don't panic and don't freak out and don't start calling tire services i'd give it a try um it doesn't work every time but for 95 percent of, of, of what i do um if you get a flat tire on here unless there's like a giant hole in the side of it i mean unless you got a big like a, a, a major damage if you've just got a screw or something in there or a nail or whatnot and the tire was you know the trailer has been sitting for a month and it went flat and it got knocked off the bead uh, go ahead and charge the trailer fill the trailer up with air and drive the trailer like five miles and um, if you want to stop and check it but I'm gonna tell you 95% of the time these tires when that when it when this tire warms up uh, the sidewalls, it'll expand. This will expand out, and this is throwing air to it. I mean, close to, you know, 100, whatever the truck's reading. You're going to have close to 100 PSI coming in here on this. And like I said, these, the way that that tire, it's going to, because you're going to have the other tire, one or other of the tire, it's going to be balanced, so it's not going to be riding on that tire. So when it, as it's running, these sidewalls, like the, that, that inertia, your centrifugal force, will push those sidewalls out and it'll seal it and if you get that air it'll set that bead and you'll be able you can keep on driving um unless you like I said you got a hole that's like the size of your hand or something 
uh, but uh, 95% of the time, these guys will set themselves. So uh, before you panic and call somebody and sit there for half a day waiting on a tire to get come out and get set, um, like I said, take that charge of trailer up, get on the road, drive about five miles, stop, pull over, check your tire out, and if it's set, um, you're good to go. I don't even, I mean, now I don't even stop because ours have the uh, the little lights on the front, and I'll show you that light. It's going to be kind of loud over there because my tri pack is on right now because it's kind of hot here. But, um, you know, the tires, or the trailers with that, this system, they have that little light up here on the uh, driver's side corner, and that, that, that little white light tells you that you have a low tire somewhere is what that's for if you didn't know that it's not a blind side light or anything like that it's telling you that you got a low tire and uh, so you can watch that sorry it's gonna get loud here so there's that little light right there uh, so I'll show you that and we'll walk back here where it's a little bit quieter but uh so I went ahead, I grabbed this trailer, and I was like 30 miles from that TA up there in Seattle I was at on Sunday. You know, I said, okay, I, I'm gonna take it as far as I can. Um, you know, worst case scenario, if it don't pop up, I can get up to the TA. I'll just go ahead and start my 10 hour break there again. Then I'll leave out that, I'll get the tire fixed and I'll do it on my 10 hour break. Then I'll go ahead and, and haul out that, uh, that evening there. But um, I got about 15 miles up the road that light was on uh, up there that I just showed you. It shut off, and I said, you know, I'm golden. When that when that light shuts off, you're good to go. Um, but like I said, if you're if you're worried about it, you can uh, like I said, take it down the road five miles, get out, check it, um, and see if the beat set. But I'm gonna say 95% of the time, unless you got major tire damage, these things will set themselves and just save you a lot of time and a lot of grief out there. Um, so that's just another tip out there to keep in mind if you have that system like I said if you have if you have those hoses you know coming off the hub and into the uh, straighter valves on the tire the rim there the tire um, so I, I know I, I mentioned that in that last video that I just put out and I was just reviewing it and I know I didn't I didn't get into it so I figured I'll put this out and um, that will put a specific title on here so people that are looking for that info you can look that up so uh, pretty much it for the day. I'm going to call it a day and go to sleep and leave out of here about midnight and head down to uh, Phoenix area. And uh, again, uh, appreciate the views. Uh, we're, we said don't do anything on the comments, but uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and we'll see you all next time. So have a good one.